guys! Happy Sunday! Today we're talking about Venus's diet during pregnancy and peak lactation. Venus usually eats around 450 grams in summer and 550 grams in winter. Now I first fed a bath model diet and I slowly worked my way up to NRC balanced um, food and I did that by creating my own database to know the average um, nutritional value of all the ingredients that I use and then calculating what is in the prepped 14 days that I have and then seeing if I match every need. But I don't have time at the moment to calculate it for her during the pregnancy phase and the lactation phase because her needs are then different. So instead I'm now following a ratio diet again that was um, that is specific for pregnant and lactating uh, dogs. So everything that I'm explaining and all the models and ratios and guidelines, uh, you will find a lot of links to those in the description. They're all from the website perfectlyrawsome.com. Um, that's a website owned by Ronnie. Um, Ronnie is awesome. Hi Ronnie if you're watching. Um, I get all of my information from her and from her Facebook group, Raw Feeding University. Definitely check that out if you are very interested in learning a lot more and more in depth um, and um, yeah, just want to know all the details, definitely visit that. Um, so yeah, I, I used her recent blog post which came out I think when Venus was around three weeks through her pregnancy. Um, then two weeks later I saw it and I was like, yes, okay, finally found the information because I couldn't find it prior. Um, and I then changed the diet according to that uh, ratio that she mentioned. So basically she has a lot more liver in her diet at the moment. And usually I feed duck liver and I feed it at a very low uh, amount because it has a high amount of vitamin A and I cannot, cannot feed more um, uh, than a certain amount of that. Um, but she needs more liver at the moment for other uh, nutrients in it. So that's why I chose a different one. I'm currently feeding beef liver and um, was clever to feed spleen, but I can't get it in the Netherlands. So I'm feeding uh, deer kidney, venison kidney. Um, both are currently at 7%. I don't know if it says anything to you watching, but it's a high amount of organ. Um, and we're also feeding 17.5% uh, plain bone. Um, so obviously that's fed as bone in meat, but yeah, it's a high amount of calcium. Um, and then part of the vegetables that she usually eats, half of that is now replaced by carb-rich ingredients. So I alternate between banana or cooked oats and um, I don't really measure that. It's just a blob of oats or a half a banana. Um, but then uh, I also knew that during a pregnancy, her intake would inc increase slightly. Uh, the past four weeks we fed uh, a third of the amount in weight extra. And then after the peps were born, we knew that she would eat a whole lot more. And that's true. So what we decided to do is just prep her regular meals and then add some extra pre-made raw to fill up that gap in, um, in energy needs. So during the past four weeks of the pregnancy, we fed 150 grams pre-made raw a day and we just took out a couple of different rolls, uh, chubs, and then portioned them into two day portions, so 300 grams each, and then we could just alternate flavors um, and keep it very varied. But now at the moment she eats around somewhere between 1200 and 1600 grams. So she uh, she's almost tripled her intake. So some days she eats three times as much as she usually does. Um, that means that I just take out a kilogram of pre-made raw a day and uh, prior a day prior. And if she doesn't finish it, I take half a uh, half kilo out because I have one kilo and half a kilo rolls in the freezer. Um, and my freezer is big enough to hold around 14 days worth of prepped food for two dogs and 15 or 20 kilograms of pre-made raw and that gets me through two weeks so every two weeks I order food for her um, yeah so it's a quite a lot of food ordering at the moment but we have a lovely company that we work with um, who 
uh, delivers to us for free. Yes, we pay the food still, but um, I don't have to worry as much about the delivery costs, for example, and they visit this area anyway, so it's not that much worse for the environment either. Um, and I think as soon as the pups will start eating, which will be in around a week's time, they will um, need so much that they will have to come weekly because our freezer is just not that big. I have also changed the supplements that I feed or added to them. Usually she always gets this. It's uh, the brand Pure and the product is called Muscle Mass. It's basically a muscle recovery um, supplement um, and it's great for active sports dogs. Um, and we usually feed quite a bit of that, but currently we feed small amounts because of the puppies. Um, but the thing is, She's currently using so much energy um, and not doing a whole lot that it's more difficult for her body to gain to gain weight and she has to gain a lot of weight because she will lose it all uh, come the pups are two and a half weeks or so they will be stealing a lot more of her energy so we're doing some walks she's also allowed off lead for a bit so I do add the muscle mass to help the muscles um, recover. Um, I'm not sure if it will do anything, but I'm keeping that in the diet at the moment. Then aside from that, we've got another product from them. We've got the Omega-3 Extra Capsules. So these are fish oil. We only use capsules, never liquid, um, liquid oil high in Omega-3 fatty acids that comes into contact with oxygen. Because omega-3 fatty acids go rancid very quickly, so I would definitely recommend only getting capsules. Now the fish oil is great for her immune system. <laughs> and it's actually been proven that it can be quite helpful for a uh, bitch who is lactating. So uh, that's why we're adding it. It's also great for her joints and her coat and dogs who give birth are in extreme stress and lose a lot of fur. So she can use the extra omega-3 fatty acids, even though we already use a lot of um, uh, small fish um, and we feed a lot of uh, organic or wild red meats. There's a lot of omega-3 in our diet, but we wanted some more. So that's why we're adding it. And then we're also using probiotics. Venus uh, just finished a round of antibiotics on Monday evening and uh, we started using this on Thursday morning. She had the round of antibiotics because she had a c-section and then six puppies touching her stomach the entire day straight after that surgery. So um, then going on and giving her probiotics after is something I, I just had to do. Um, if I couldn't get my hands on a good probiotic, I would have fed something fermented, like fermented vegetables, but I found this one and so far it's great. I see a clear difference in her stool, so that's good. I've seen some clear changes in her stools as well since adding the probiotics. Uh, it's her, her stools are very firm, um, thicker than usual, um, I mean in width. Um, and I think it's doing something at least for her body so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna use it um, I think for a couple weeks um, and also try using it in the future if I've got something left if one of the dogs hasn't felt well because um, it's good stuff it definitely is right Venus left the sofa because the pups were screaming now this brand we have been using since January that's when we went to the orthopedic veterinarian with Mojo and found out that she has severe arthritis. So we started using their um, glucosamine extra. Uh, and I feel that it has her, done her so well. Um, of course, they can't claim that a product helped, helps with arthritis. Um, but what I have seen um, is that her movement is a lot more supple. Her joints don't crack when she stretches. Come on. And Mojo can again do what she loved and be active. Um, we then wrote a blog post about our um, use of that product because we had bought it and um, 
they liked it and as a thank you they sent us another jar of that plus this jar for Venus and um, since uh, then we have stayed in contact and they kindly sent us um, a big box full of products for Venus uh, during her pregnancy. So we've got a puppy shampoo, we've got some puppy wipes, we had the omega-3 um, and a lot of other stuff. So uh, that's so kind um, that they sent us that and yeah we have used most of it. Uh, uh, especially the puppy wipes they have come in super handy and yesterday I washed her with the shampoo for the first time and she smelled like baby powder Venus's meals are spread out over the day um, she has around five through seven meals and depending on the day she will have more or less of the pre-made raw Yesterday I prepped two weeks worth of food and of course I also filmed a time lapse so I am finishing this video with that. I hope you liked it and if you want to know more definitely ask in the comments below and uh, yeah don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more because um, we'd love that. Thank you!